Hi, my name is Paul Setner. I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. I wanted to go over a tip and trick that talks about how to configure the NCAD revision table. So new within 2012, within the Inventor and Vault releases, is now the ability using a Vault Workgroup, Vault Collaboration, or Vault Professional flavor of the Vault family of products with Inventor, we can actually push a revolt uh, vault revision table for use inside of Inventor. So it showed beforehand how to utilize this new revision table, but started to get a few questions about how to actually configure that with any new mappings that we might want to incorporate. So today we'll start to take a look at how to configure some of those changes and how to associate different mappings. Here's have a sample drawing on the screen of a, of a simple part. And to begin with, going to go ahead and place a uh, a new vault revision table instead of our standard inventor revision table. And currently I don't have this customized whatsoever. So one of the questions came up of basically starting to customize this and how do we basically kind of start to map properties from vault um, for any other user properties or system properties that we might want to control. So first I'm just going to place in a default rev table and I'm going to go into the column chooser. So uh, for instance where we might want to include comments and how do we drive that back and forth from vault into this revision table. So there's really two things we can do here for this example. Um, one is using the comment system property and the other one is using a comments user property. So one thing we can do, and I'll go through two different processes, is mapping one to a description field if that's acceptable. If not, we can also add any new user custom properties. Uh, so you'll see it was inside of this list there's nothing that maps to a comments uh, property from a rev table. So I can make a new one. Let's just call this one comments. Okay. Just gonna save this drawing. And we'll check our files in. Okay. So now over on the vault side, come to our administration, vault settings, behaviors tab, properties area, we have a revision table configuration on the vault side of things. And here's where we can get control into the dialog box to control our mappings. So in one case, I'm going to use our default description field and utilize the comment system property. So when you start to check in and out information and the comments that you, uh, what I always recommend to add, at least in some case, some way, shape, or form, it's actually the comment system property. Now on the flip side, I'm also gonna add the custom user property I created called comments. So I have to have it named the same. And I'll use the user property called comments. So a subtle change here, but depends on which one maybe we want to map. So I use both just as this example. So you see I have my comment and comments enabled in my vault user interface. So when I just type in those comments upon check in, check out, we'll start to see it in my comment tab. But then I also have this comment, uh, comments user property that I can edit my properties with and, and just maybe add some information. So depending on which one we use, Either way is acceptable. Okay. So let's go back into Inventor. Let's open our files. our properties, kind of see our rev trigger to A since that's the scheme I'm following in Vault, and just make some quick changes here. So what we can now do is I'll update my properties, but now I basically want to start to release this so now we can actually start to trigger our revision state. So let's check these back in, just update our quick changes. Actually, let's put uh, okay. So 
we will now change the state to released. And notice my comments here. So release to manufacturing, let's say I put rev A, change, update, whatever. Okay. Now as soon as I change the state one more time, go back to work in progress, that's going to of course trigger our revision update. As soon as I check this file out, or try to populate with my vault data, it's going to trigger me to check it out anyways. I can now see I'm getting both my description to my system comment and the user comments pulled forth. Hope today's tip was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us at the below contact information. We definitely look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.